to my broadcast. Turning up the mic. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Thir turning up the mic. Uh, thank you, Daryl. Thank you. Uh, hello, Angel. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for inviting and lighten up. <clears throat> and hello, Myra. How are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> so, uh, tonight, what I'm going to try to do is kind of set up like kind of a foundational discussion about you know, what, uh, what I do on my uh, Periscope and YouTube channel. And uh, that's great, Moira. And, uh, and kind of like uh, fashion a story and a message so it's clear why people should follow me on YouTube and why you should watch me here on, <clears throat> on uh, Periscope. As, by the way, as of right now, I have 267 subscribers on on uh, YouTube. So if you're not subscribing to me on YouTube, please do. I need to get to a thousand subscribers <clears throat> so that YouTube pays attention to me. So so please help me get to a thousand subscribers. So uh, look so dark behind you. You should put squashes behind me. I will. <clears throat> I will. Like right now. Uh, Mike is peeking. Why, why is Mike? Why is the mic peeking? It's right in front of my face. <clears throat> it shouldn't peak until I start shouting, which will be, you know, later. I haven't gotten into the shouting. I haven't gotten into the shouting part yet. <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, so uh, uh, as of right now, I have uh, two hundred and sixty-seven followers on. YouTube. So if you're, you are, if you are on YouTube, hello, people who are on YouTube. I'm uh, simulcasting this on YouTube, Periscope, Braxme, and Twitch. <clears throat> Mike has taken psychedelics. Uh, what the zuck are we talking about, Angel? What the zuck? I see four watching on YouTube. Hello, people watching on YouTube or Brax, wherever you are. Um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, hold on, let me just bring up Brax here to make sure I don't ignore the Brax people. <clears throat> there we go. So there's, uh, EJ and Spirit Gamer <clears throat> and some others that are watching on, on Brax. <clears throat> um, Mike is speaking. It was a lateral connection. What the, what, the, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? You, you guys are getting me confused here. The mic is not, the mic is not, uh, um, no, the mic is fine. I can see the levels right here. Mic is fine. I'm not in the red. So <clears throat> I wonder why, uh, why we're like discussing this. It's, uh, it's distracting us from the story. Anyway, my my uh, my intent is to to make my message clear on both YouTube. Hey there, Zakia. Yeah. Uh, make the uh, messages clear on both YouTube and Periscope and Brax. What what I talk about so that we the videos that I'll be making will be uh, will be compatible with what I talk about and the message will be clear. So today I got myself a vlogging camera. Thank you for following open. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you for following. I, I've seen you on Facebook last week. Zuck, old school. Uh, I wonder who that is. Okay, so I got myself a vlogging camera. It's, uh, this is highly recommended. It's a uh, Canon G7X. <clears throat> and what is so interesting about this vlogging camera that's gonna be using for, that I'm going to be using for YouTube videos is that it's a, uh, not only is it compact, look, it fits in my hand, hand. It's, uh, it's actually a selfie video camera. So watch this. Selfie video camera. So you can kind of look at yourself like that. And uh, talk. So I could be walking around and say, Zuck you, Zuck. 
taking a video and then posting it on YouTube. I don't, I don't, I don't like the sound of the mic. The mic isn't uh, very cool, so I don't know how to, I don't know how to solve this. But uh, you know, I can actually start recording uh, videos without even uh, uh, using a computer. I don't see you live on Brax. Why don't you see me live on Brax? Should I say open your eyes so that you can get back from China? But you're not Chinese. So I'll open my eyes. I Yes, I'm on Brax because I'm seeing I just left. The, I was just greeting the people on Brax. Will you be doing a product review on the Canon G7X? I guess, you know, it's not that new anymore. So a lot of people have. There's like... Uh, million reviews on this so this is not uh <clears throat> this is not uh that popular anymore but the, uh that uh, i guess you know it, it is a tech product right so i guess you know it, it fits what i do i can review it and uh, uh my new year quentin how are you my friend how are you how's the family how's the how's the baby how's the baby quentin so anyway nice vlogging camera in fact uh you know what I'm going to use it for uh, this week? You know what I'm going to use it for this week, Quentin? I'm actually going to record my my uh, jazz concert with this and then use a separate uh, uh, recorder for the sound. And then I'm going to match them all up and then share you the video. Because the problem is, as I've recorded like many of my gigs, the quality is very low with a webcam because it's very dark. So the quality is very low. So I'm I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be using this, expensive as heck. But you know, YouTube requires a completely different approach. YouTube will be a different approach. So with YouTube, I got to get different. I was set doing a lot of setup today, testing various kinds of equipment using DSLRs. My I was using my DSLR to see if this is going to be good for live broadcasting with a DSLR, and you have to have to have surgery surgery soon. Wow. You're too young for that. You're like what, 19? So uh, uh, YouTube is such a different animal. So so everything that uh, that you I do for Periscope has got to be different. I can't stay bars and saying and pack to the hill. Hello, Starlight. So anyway, this is what you need, Starlight. This is what you need for the bar. Just make get one of these cameras. <clears throat> Just get one of these cameras. Put on a stand. Record the karaoke and then. Uh, you know, broadcast it later on. 20 in 12 days. I have carpal tunnel. My hand is not moving. Oh, wow. Of course, I've had hand surgeries, pins and needles. I've had hand surgery uh, just a year ago. It's perfect now. Hand is perfect. No problem now. I can play piano and everything. So perfect with that. Everyone help. Yes, please share my YouTube page. Please, uh, you know, um, follow me on YouTube so that I... Uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about uh, um, the topics that are in my title tonight. So tonight I have, and we're gonna give you some examples of some of the stuff I'm I'm gonna be talking about. You blocked the background out. I noticed. Well, you know, who wants to see a zucking, you know, background next to the piano? Got to you know, look like I'm in a big theater. And then somebody complains, oh, well, you, you know, we don't like your fake backgrounds. Well, Zuck, you. So there you go. No background. <clears throat> Just look at my face. <clears throat> That's all you have to worry about. It's my face. So, so yes, no more backgrounds. My YouTube videos have back backgrounds, but my live ones, uh, uh, you like it with no background? KK, do you love me? <laughs> what sucking name. KK, do you love me? Zuck you, mother Zucker. Zuck you, mother Zucker. Yep. Okay, so no no uh, background. Fake backgrounds are just the best ever. Uh, so, yeah, but, you know, I don't want to get any complaints. So, so can't make everyone happy, you know, complain about having a background, complain about having no background. Like, make up your mind. What the Zuck do you want? Background or no background? I'm going to actually... Now that I have room, I guess I can make uh, myself bigger. There's no need to crowd the screen here, right? Okay, there, <clears throat> a little bit more space. 
You can do funny zucking crap videos. No, we're going to talk about our topics. I'm going to tell you just uh, examples of each of the categories because uh, my title says, how do you, do you uh, keep from getting hacked, keep from getting docs, keep from getting profiled and surveilled? So that's what we're... Uh, that's what my YouTube topics will be about. And I can give you examples of each and see if you can actually get some practical tips on, on, uh, on what I'm talking about. For example, for example, <clears throat> for example, I just got scammed last night after work. Come on, Quentin. You're smarter than that. You're watching me. You can't get scammed when you're watching me. As an example, <clears throat> yesterday I was talking about uh, passwords, right? And people didn't actually understand why I was talking about simplified passwords. People didn't understand why I was talking about that. And, and uh, where's Kelp? Kelp over a new job? Suck. So Kelp, like, uh, Kelp was like, uh, you know, uh, like saying, why are you like uh, talking about simplified passwords so that we can get hacked? That is exactly my point. I'm teaching you how to set up passwords that are simple, yet don't get hacked. You see what I'm saying here? I'm trying to teach you that you don't have to go overboard. You can protect yourself if you know how without being too excessive about it. If nobody, no one tells you, how do you actually know? Do you actually think that you, you need a 20-character uh, password? I'm going to tell you right now, you do not need a 20-character password. Okay, that's a lot of typing to do, on a, especially on mobile, a mobile phone, in which case you're going to have more typos, and then you're going to call up and change password because you, you're going to say, I can't log in. And, and then you, I, I get that all the time, by the way, on Braxtat Me, people saying, I can't log in. You know, uh, uh, did you change the password? I, say, I can't change the password. You set up the password. So, so... So, uh, so uh, actually, uh, Quentin, you only need one. You only need one special character. They don't know where the one is going to be, you see. See, this is the, uh, this is, you no, know, you don't need password generators open source. Didn't you watch my scope yesterday? The rule is very simple, again, to summarize what I said. And this is just examples of the kind of tips that I give you that are practical and will help you stay safe and secure and not be hacked, and yet make your life simple, okay? For one, all you need is eight characters if you're going to do uh, an online password. Anything for an online use, whether it be a bank, a, uh, a uh, website, an app, anything that's online that you have to go log in on the Internet, doesn't need more than eight characters, but the eight characters have to include at least one alphanumeric, I mean one uh, uppercase, uh, at least one, uh, and it has to have one lowercase, it has to have at least one special character, it has to at least have one number. Hello, WW Perry. <clears throat> so it, it, needs the, it needs all four types. Once it gets to the four types, you actually don't need any more because it doesn't matter how many of each you have. Somebody will say, well, it's better if you have all extras, uh, I mean, special characters or all uh, of one thing. Actually, no, that is false. <coughs> that is false. Yes, a character for Brax is just fine. That is false. And the reason for that is you just make a mistake. You make a typo and you forget. Uh, you know, it's very hard to do upper lower on, on uh, mobile and you're going to mistype a character in which case in an emergency and you're trying to rush putting a password in, you're, you're going to screw up and then you're going to force a reset when you don't want it to, to be, to be uh, reset. And the real thing that you really just want to do is to force, to force the hacker to go into brute force attack. That's all you really want to do is make your password to be not in the dictionary of passwords that they have so that they can do a brute force attack. But a brute force attack with at least one of the characters I mentioned uh, uh, with eight characters will take them, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of, of years to solve. If it's going to take thousands of years to solve online, then it's unbreakable. Anything below eight is breakable. 
anything below eight is breakable. I believe a uh, uh, a seven digit password can be broken in uh, probably a, uh, a week. A uh, eight character password cannot be broken. Okay, within our lifetime. So <clears throat> thousands of years. <clears throat> Now, what about, uh, what about offline use, which is what I talked about yesterday? If you're going to do an offline attack on something that's a password that's not connected to the Internet, the attack can go much, much faster. Okay? Because the attack can go so much faster, they can pump the, the uh, passwords very quickly, especially if it's online like a file. You can actually send the, the file to uh, an external party uh, to do a uh, supercomputer attack on it. And uh, I was giving you examples of uh, anything uh, under uh, anything under 12 digits uh, uh, or pure you know one or two or three types of characters can be can be hacked in, in, a, in uh, anywhere from anywhere from uh, uh, seconds to a few days or fractions of a second to a few days. But uh, if you have 12, Al alpha alphanumeric uppercase lowercase with spe with a special character it's going to take again thousands of years to hack 12 characters on a file again the the point of what i'm saying here is is to simplify life because if life is simple and you don't have 10 million passwords you will actually be safer hello miguel miggy miggy Happy New Year, Miguel. Como estas, Miguel? <clears throat> Feliz Navidad. Prospero Año. Amigo. <clears throat> so, anyway. Uh, that's some of the practical things that I'll, you know, that I'm, I'm trying to bring up. I'll give you another example. Uh, we're stormy, Sir Cal. We're stormy. Uh, Here's a practical example. Somebody asked me this uh, a couple of days ago. Somebody asked me this a couple of days ago. You know, it's about how not to get uh, uh, great Spanish. My Spanish is not that good, amigo. Mi español es muy mal. Eight inches of snow. What, what are you going to do with those, uh, the wood? You can't chop the wood when it's like eight inches of snow. Can't chop the wood. Anyway, um, just some a practical question that was asked of me, and and, and uh, it's some of these simple things that you encounter in life, and people don't know the answer, and I can give you the answer because you know you're you're uh, you're uh, going to be a lot safer if you have some expertise in very very basic things. The question was this: This person is uh, working from home. And uh, and applied for uh, a job where, where she'll be using her own computer to connect to the job and doing it from home. Okay. So uh, my it's Rob Braxman right there on top. Please follow me there, uh, Quentin. Rob Braxman, follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Subscribe to me on YouTube. So this in the, hello go rice girl. So this individual, um, this person. Uh, how are you doing, Go Rice Girl? This this person said, "Okay, they want to access my computer. In fact, they're going to do a test on my computer. They're going to log into my home, log into my computer, and check my computer out. And so she was worried that somebody's going to access her computer. She has to load some sort of software on it. And uh, and what are they going to be able to accomplish when they do that?" You're subscribed to me everywhere, except you're not subs subscribed to me on Zucking Zuckbook, Go Rice Girl. You're not Zucking, you're not Zucking subscribed to me on, on I, I am too, to you as well, but only on the platforms where I'm in. <clears throat> so, uh, and what is this live AF? It's like, I looked at that, it's like all Zucking Asians, like an Asian periscope. <clears throat> hey, Quentin, thank you for... Uh, Subscribing to me, uh, if you have sub subscribed to me, uh, Quentin, let me, let me see what our numbers are now. We got to get some subscribers here, people. I'm at 271. Let's get to 300 tonight. Let's get to 300 subscribers here on YouTube tonight. I got, I'm, come on. I mean, you know, I'm so embarrassed compared to Duty Run. It's like 400 and I'm like a, a measly 
271. Come on, people. I have ducking 32,000 followers. Certainly, a few of the 32,000 followers can follow me on YouTube. <laughs> so, 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 a, a handful. I, all, we only need a handful of you. I got 32,000 followers. Did, did you all leave the... Did you, uh, well, apparently, Go Rice Girl, I saw it and, and all the reviews were ducking Chinese. Don't beg for love. Tinker, we need to beg right now. We need to act like Alex Pettit. Anyway, back to my topic. <clears throat> this is not about me asking. It's about me giving you information. <laughs> Don't fret. Okay, Moira. I won't fret. <clears throat> do I need to do like uh, breastfeeding videos? Breastfeeding videos gets a lot of you know, views on, uh, on uh, YouTube, Moira. You know that. I got like 20 subscribers on YouTube. 31803 what the uh, I click those uh, anyway okay <clears throat> back to what I'm talking about <clears throat> stormy breastfeed breastfeed the squash okay uh, 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 what's the zucking squash I forgot about the squash okay let's let's put the squash in there okay let's put the squash in there I like YouTube better than Periscope. Quentin, I don't care where you watch me. You can watch me on YouTube. You can watch me in Periscope. I can see your comments. <clears throat> I can see your comments, so it doesn't matter. I will interact with you either way. Okay, but live streaming is not the same as making YouTube videos. And my YouTube videos will be special because I, I can actually, uh, you know, make it short and to the point and, you know, it's easier to learn from it. Okay? Those pop-up comments are from Brax. The pop-up comments are from... Uh, from YouTube. <laughs> comments are from YouTube. I we do not publish comments and bracks because we have to be private. No, I, the the point is to make uh, two seventy two people. Come on, let's get to three hundred uh, followers. Come on, let's get to three hundred followers. So, so um, back to what I'm saying. So, uh, this this friend of ours want, uh, got a job. Uh, or applied for a job to uh, to do work from home, and the requirement of the agency that uh, that she's working with said, "Well, we got to access your computer at home, and and you have to install this kind of software so we can run some sort of test." Okay, now l let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, people. Let me tell you something. You have to understand what the effect of that is, and what is the effect of that on hacking, getting surveilled, getting profiled, and all that, because there is an effect, and a lot of you don't realize it. The moment, the moment you, you have somebody install software from an employer, suddenly your computer becomes accessible to your employer in various ways. As an example, they can now intercept your HTTPS traffic. They will load, one of the things they will load on your computer is, is likely a root certificate so they can decrypt HTTPS. This is a standard thing with employers. Okay, so they know what you're doing on the internet. Uh, uh, second, they will intercept your traffic anyway because they're going to give you a VPN to log into. And, uh, and the, the purported reason is to check the speed of the computer. I don't trust that that's a whole story. I don't, I don't uh, no, it is not safe to jailbreak. If you jailbreak your, that's a good, uh, good future question too. Okay, yes, they become a man in the middle. This is the kind of information I share to you because no, no one really knows this. I'm the source of this kind of information. Practical, practical tips that you will, you will uh, DNS encrypt. Yes, that's new, uh, <coughs> but only uh, workable on Android in the future. At the moment, you need to have some client software that can actually use it. So maybe they'll change uh, uh, Chrome to uh, to do it first. Okay, so. If you listen to me, I can answer these questions for you. And so the question now is, how does uh, our friend protect herself from an employer that says, I'm going to, you know, connect to your computer from home and your, your own computer will now be the, the office computer. Well, Doc, that, that is, that is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to take my regular computer and have them access whatever's on my Zucking computer. Uh, and, and, and intercept HTTPS traffic, which is a standard. They will do that and then have them uh, get control. And where is my control over my own device? I basically lost my privacy in an instant just to get some work. So is there a solution to that? Yes, people, there is. This is why you come to me. You come to me 
You come to me, I give you the zucking solution. Okay? Does anyone have a solution? There you go, Quentin. No, Tor Router is not going to do it because they want to access your computer and they want it at high speed and they want to have a fixed IP address. Your employer will not allow you to use a Tor Router. No. Employer will not allow you to use a Tor Router. <clears throat> all I'm trying to tell you is just, all I'm trying to tell you is that, yes, the kind of information I teach here is something that you don't likely know the answer to. You will learn from what I talk about, and I'll give you the answer in a second, but <clears throat> of course you're employed. You, uh, you deliver. You, use, uh, you deliver from one of those uh, delivery uh, uh, things. Do you do one of these delivery apps, uh, Doug, or you work for a specific company? So, <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so, so, uh, so the point is, the point is, uh, uh, you know, many of you probably will not know the answer to, what I, to the problem I just posed. And that's where you come to me. I have the answer. It's possible to have your proxy change and IP address changes each time. Quinton, no. I'm going to do a broadcast about that. I mean, a uh, video about that. No. Again, a lot of you have partial information, and the partial information is often incorrect and will lead you to more problems. Okay? Do not use a proxy server. No. No. So we're going to, you know, uh, raising questions here. Questions here. Here's another question. How do I protect myself uh, from viruses? How do I protect myself from viruses? And people say, oh, load an antivirus. And my answer to that is, no. I didn't pay for any antivirus. I don't want to load any paid antivirus on here. So my answer to that is, no. So you see, a lot of things that people don't know. You think you have all the answers. You think, you know, all, uh, uh, many people, the average, not you, you guys come and listen to me. You, you probably have some of these answers. And, and trust me, I understand this more than you think. Somebody will say, this guy is an idiot. He talks about zucking nonsense. You know, yes, we should be using zucking antivirus and everything else. And then when I reveal, you know, <clears throat> some of the flaws of it, then you start to understand, uh-oh. You mean an antivirus can't protect me from that? Uh... Yeah, how about email? It's great that you raise these questions. It's great that you raise the questions because when you raise the questions and you start to realize you don't know the answer. Okay, so, so, so another question is, what about email? What about email? Uh, uh, can I email my, uh, you know, I, I'm going to make a passworded tax return and email it to... Uh, to my accountant is that is that cool is that cool take a take an IRS document you know your tax return your 1040 zip it up put a password on it and send it to my accountant say here's a copy of my tax return is that cool oh and uh, and how do you send the password do you know the answer to that do you know the answer to that so look guys there's a lot you can learn from me there's a lot that you don't know the answer to some of them are very very basic very very basic things uh here's another question that got asked of me this this is an uh uh this is a question that was asked of me just uh um uh, i think just yesterday in fact here in the broadcast uh wrong quentin wrong wrong <clears throat> wrong answer so here's a question that was asking me yesterday. We're going to answer some of these later. Uh, uh, somebody said, is it true that no, we cannot really hide our browsing history anymore? Is it true we cannot hide our browsing history anymore? That's a good question. It's a good question. And uh, the obvious answer is... Uh, uh, of course you can hide 
your browsing history? The answer is actually, it's, cor it's a correct question. You cannot hide your browsing history. However, that's not the entire answer because if you can't hide your browsing history, then why protect yourself? So again, not, not the complete story. These, these are things that uh, are, are, not, are not entirely clear to us. And that's why you will learn from me if you follow me here on Periscope and follow me on YouTube and the Rod Braxman. We're trying to get to, uh, to, uh, to 300, uh, 300 subscribers here today. So please follow me on. I don't usually do this, but I got to do it because it's really hard to get make a presence on YouTube. So please follow me on YouTube under Rob Braxman, and I'll be making many, many videos. I already have some in there. This broadcast is live on YouTube, and, and I will be making many videos uh, next week, and I got my new vlogging, my new... I will answer those questions I raised too. I, I have my new vlogging compact camera. It's a selfie. It's a selfie camera. Selfie. Look at that. Okay. I can like, uh, you know, during a live broadcast, I can uh, do re a recording. I need like a selfie selfie handle in here. And then uh, so it's easier to hold. But there you go. Selfie, selfie camera. <clears throat> and uh, zucking expensive. But, you know, the clarity. I mean, it looks my, my webcam looks like a zucking toy next to this. I mean, this little device. No wonder they charge so much money. I mean, it is uh, of such a clear video, a really clear video. And the, the other thing that is interesting about it, is because you can lift the thing up top like this, you can actually see yourself. Uh, Livendi, the 360 no longer works with Zuck and Periscope. 360 no longer works with Zucking Periscope. We got, we got Zucked by Periscope. So, so uh, you know, so I can't use a 360 and it's uh, especially remote. But I'm t complete, totally computer illiterate. That's why you Zucking follow me on YouTube and you will Zucking learn. You, you're Zucking learn about, uh, about uh, technology in a simple way that I will explain so that you can be safe without having to be a Zucking techie. They didn't cut it. It just doesn't work. <laughs> they didn't cut anything. Just, but it just, it's, it works very, very badly. You're trying. Okay, so <clears throat> I guess I got to put that in the middle. It looks like it doesn't work if, you know, okay, here, I'll uh, move myself to the side and move the, uh, move the, because uh, on Periscope, they need to see it in the middle. If they don't see it in the middle, <clears throat> If they don't see the uh, the uh, um, if they don't see the if they don't see in the middle, then they don't show up. So there, <clears throat> okay. And that's what you have to do. On I know what the secret is. You got to put it right in the center because on a big screen like this, it gets cut cut up. So so that's one of the questions I got asked was uh, is it safe to uh, is can is all browsing trackable? Yes. Uh, here's the, uh, the other one that many people uh, surprisingly don't know, and that is uh, uh, how uh, how dangerous is an IP address? How dangerous is an IP address? And many will go Google it and say, okay, here's my IP address. Let me see what it tells me. And they will say, oh, it's not very accurate. It goes, tells me what city I'm in. And you say, oh, cool. I'm safe. Wrong. 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 You are not safe at all because you don't even know. Uh, uh, things that relating to location. My goodness. I mean, there's just so many things that, that people are not aware of. And that's what you're going to learn from. I'm going to, you know, maybe I'll have a thousand videos by the time I'm done. Maybe I'll never get done. But I'm going to be making a lot of videos because there's so much to Zucking explain and you will learn and enjoy what I talk about and I'll give you answers to some of these questions later on. Okay? <laughs> Periscope doesn't give me notifications. The two dancers on the left have... Uh, they do, Angel? <laughs> uh, yeah, what is WikiLeaks? Is WikiLeaks for you or against you? You know, uh, again, more questions to ask. So, so guys, 
So, so I have some specific, I have some specific skills, people. I have a specific set of skills. So you come to me to learn about these specific set of, set of, set of skills. And if you listen to me, then you'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll learn that, uh, that there's a lot of answers to be gotten. So please, if you want to follow, learn about these new videos I'm going to be making and have started to make, there's some there now and making more. I'm going to be pounding YouTube with a lot of videos. I'm a YouTuber now. I'm a YouTuber and I got my new vlogging camera that I'm going to be using. And because I am a YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber now, Please follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're trying to get to a thousand uh, uh, subscribers eventually on here. And then I'm going to be uh, doing it on this. Maybe I'll walk around the, the beach and uh, give you a, a vlog on the beach. Maybe I'll walk on the beach and talk to you about cybersecurity. Who says I have to do it at home, right? I got this now. I got this now. I can do it on the beach. Okay, you can do travel. I can say hashtag travel and cybersecurity. Okay, so I'll answer some of the questions that I just that, that I raised. Okay, so one of the questions was if you are a uh, if you've been contracted to work from home using your own computer and they give you some software to load, so they now require you to connect to their network, uh, probably through through a VPN through through the office in question, and now you have to do work for them, and does that now expose your computer? To their to to the employer and their security answers it, this answer is yes it does so what is your protection for that and how do you separate out your personal files from your business files and on and on and on okay yes so the answer is very simple it's so zucking simple it's so zucking simple it would, wouldn't even cross your mind the answer is make two zucking accounts on your computer in fact make three accounts. <coughs> Make three accounts on your computer. Make three accounts on your computer, okay? One is an admin account, which you do not use, except to load software. Admin account. And you use another account for your employer activities. It'll be blank. There should be nothing on it. And a personal one. So when you're doing personal, you log out of your your uh, your employee employer uh access and log into your personal one don't mix it up don't mix browsers don't mix traffic uh when you're doing employer related things you do it on one login and not on your personal login and if you do not give them your uh admin password to your computer they can't load things on there without your zucking permission that's how you pr you would protect yourself against that that's a very very valuable and practical tip for something very, very basic, have multiple logins. Who would have ever thought about that? <clears throat> Sounds simple enough. And it's like a uh, simple solution. You know, it doesn't have the employer has no admin permission. Yes, this is what you learn from me. Basic things, little things that like this that you don't actually realize will happen, will, you will encounter in real life and you don't know what the answer is. And the answers are often very simple can you use white bytes vpn only for you uh yes <clears throat> logins for old school so please subscribe see the, this is the kind of information i will give you so please follow me subscribe to me on my youtube channel so you will learn about these kinds of things in greater detail <clears throat> and trust me you will learn a lot from what i talk about because as you can see there are many things that people think they know and they actually don't. They actually don't know. So one of the other questions I said was, uh, if you're, I forget all the different questions, but let me just try to remember some of them and you'll remind me what the rest are. But one of the questions I raised was, uh, if somebody says email, email your accountant a, uh, a uh, uh, how do I email a, uh, a uh, IRS document like a, tax return to my accountant how do i send it over email uh safely and and it's not a simple saying yeah encrypt the uh encrypt the uh you know the document in a zip file no that's it's not that simple so the simple answer 
is, well, there's, there's the easiest answer that doesn't require encryption is to use my app, Brax.me. You can set up an account on Brax.me for two parties. The other party can set up an account, and then you pass a file and a chat. It's completely encrypted without doing anything. Completely encrypted. You don't have to do anything special. Upload the file. The person downloads the file. Afterwards, you can delete the file or not, whatever you want to do. And it's completely encrypted, end-to-end, -end, nothing to worry about. Stored, encrypted, four layers of encryption, you're done. But if you don't want to do that, hello, Holistic Dev. How are you, Holistic Dev? Scope keeps freezing but isn't skipping content. Okay, so uh, how are you doing, Holistic Dev? How are you doing? What is good security suit software brand? I don't use any security suit software. You're still selling VPN. You need a VPN, yes. Are you a computer whiz? I'm big, better than a computer zucking whiz, the real original me. Uh, did you tell everyone? Oh, Holistic Dev. <laughs> uh, look at my face, Holistic Dev. I'm a zucking loser. <laughs> I'm a zucking loser, Holistic Dev. Okay, so um, <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> back to uh, back to what I'm. Uh, so, how do you send a zucking file? How do you send a zucking file over the internet? How do you send a zucking file over the internet to the accountant? Uh, if the only option is to zip it up. Well, the answer, as I told you yesterday, is just have a 12-digit a, uh, uh, a password. Alphanumeric with the special characters and, and, uh, and uh, 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 upper lower. Perry, you seen. Hello, my friend. I wish that I could like those hotties in the corner. I thought that's, that's Deb. I thought that's you. Aren't you one of those? Which one is you, Deb? <clears throat> Which one is you? I think you're the one I can't see. It's on the far right in there. So, so again, get, giving you an example of this, giving an example of this, if you have 12 characters, complex password, not in a dictionary, not, well, she may be wearing a, a, a second from the right. There, there could be a blonde one on the right. You just can't see because I, I I'm not showing the whole thing. Yeah, I, you, you can't see the whole thing. Cause, uh, why 12 digits? Because computationally, computationally, J. Kane, uh, offline, you cannot do an offline attack on a 12 digit with, uh, with uh, uh, alphanumeric, as long as it's not in the dictionary. It's not a common word in the dictionary. And I mean common in all languages uh, that can be found on the internet as a word on the internet. Uh, <clears throat> so if you uh, if you have it as twelve characters, computationally it's impossible to do a brute force on that uh, in less than thousands and thousands of years. So the the magic number is twelve digits. Once you cross twelve digits, even a supercomputer can't break it. So there's some specific information. How do I install a VPN on your cell phone? The, uh, you, use, you, uh, you, uh, you subscribe to my VPN. It's called Bytes VPN, B Y T Z dot VPN. Can somebody type Bytes VPN for uh, this gentleman? Uh, uh, Holistic Deb, come on, join me on Brax.me, Holistic Deb. Talk to us on Brax.me. Come on, you can join the app and Talk to us on, on Brax.me. It's no big deal. It's download the app and talk. Can't, uh, can't talk on... Uh, can't talk... On, there you go. ByteVPN.com. Thank you, Ben. <coughs> so a few... Uh, uh, please refrain from posting links without permission. Yes, I got... Uh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm over there this week. Okay, Holistic Deb. Uh, uh, I watch all your videos, Holistic Deb. I watch all your videos. So so anyway, so anyway, um, um, uh, you know the information that uh, you know as far as uh, uh, I need to be added as a moderator in order to move mess. Oh, what is your VPN? Uh, yes, it works on uh, it works on all platforms. Open yes yes. My VPN uses Open VPN, so it's the same as being used by uh, yeah yeah Holistic Deb. Yeah, uh, my VPN is uh, uh, 
it uses the same it's kind of a industry standard all everything is based on open vpn anyway on all platforms on all different vpns what makes my my vpn different is that i include tor routing in it so you have a tor routing option which i wrote i wrote a tor routed uh, server so you have a choice between a local server and a tor routed server i'm the only one that has that can I use OBS on my cell phone? Yes, you can use Streamlabs OBS on your cell phone. Not the main OBS, but Streamlabs OBS has a mobile version. What VPN service do you recommend? Bytes VPN. I, somebody just typed it. Please use mine because Bytes VPN because it comes with Tor, and Tor is a valuable thing that I want to teach you about at a later point. Again, that's one of the reasons you, you follow me is you... Uh, uh, it's uh, my VPN is eighty nine dollars for six devices for a year. That's a year subscription. Eighty nine dollars, and you get two products: a standard VPN and Tor routing. So you have like two, two VPNs really: <clears throat> a standard VPN and a Tor routed VPN, and you choose whatever you want. So that's uh, that's the best option that you're gonna get. So people, follow me. We have two hundred and seventy five subscribers on YouTube. And and look at the kind of information. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm uh, doing like uh, one of these telethons here because I'm showing you my knowledge. I'm showing you that what I talk about is not common. Uh, this is not the stuff you're going to hear from Leo Laporte and Steve Gibson. This is not. Those guys are on YouTube. They're not going to give you this information. My information is much more practical and valuable for everyday use. This is one of the things that they said to Leo Laporte had a video said, you don't need a VPN. It's like, suck you, suck you that you don't need a VPN. You sucking need a VPN. Of course. Okay, you sucking need a VPN. It comes with instructions on how to install the VPN. Yes, it's on bytesvpn.com. Choose your device. It will install on iOS, Android, Linux, uh windows and and mac it handles all all uh all uh <coughs> all platforms uh, uh if you follow me on uh, on youtube you will learn what a vpn is okay i'm, I'm gonna make uh i'm i'm gonna make you some uh, videos to explain that but uh, uh uh as early as next week so follow me on youtube and you will learn about some of these practical things that you need to know about. It is not an option to not have a VPN, okay? It is not an option. You need to have it. You need to have it. Uh, Rich is on my VPN right now. Some, you know, when, when somebody like Leo Laporte says, well, you don't really need a VPN, it's optional. It's like, zuck you. Zuck you. Who taught you cyber zucking security? A dog? Good gosh darn it a dog told you how how to uh, do cybersecurity? security where you're talking learn that okay the, of course in fairness to Leo Laporte you know the uh, the video was kind of old so at the time uh, the answer may have been valid that at this time that answer is very invalid VPN must not be turned off if you can help it <laughs> Okay, if you turn a VPN off, don't use your computer. Hello, Mitchells. If you turn your VPN off, don't use your computer. People, 276 subscribers. So look, look, follow me on YouTube and you will learn some stuff that I'm talking about. Some of these basic things. Some of these basic things that you think you know the answer to. And you're not going to know this because trust me, there's so much. I've talked about it all year. Okay. Talked about all year. So, so here's the uh, here's the uh, uh, another one that I asked a moment ago, and I'll answer it. Okay, uh, uh, antivirus. <clears throat> what antivirus should I use? The far left. What antivirus should I use? That's a you know typical question, and you will be surprised at my answer. I said, don't fucking buy any antivirus. That is my answer. Do not buy any antivirus. <clears throat> Do not. And if you, uh, uh, what does that mean? That means you're going to use some free antivirus, but which one? Okay. But the answer is, the, 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 uh, the answer is why? I thought those other antivirus were supposed to protect you. 
Uh, doesn't the federal government require that you put an antivirus on whatever and whatever? D don't many companies, including, uh, you know, if you're running an uh, e-commerce store, require you to put antivirus and all these things on your second computers? Well, because they didn't go talk to the CIA. Uh, uh, there's a little document on CIA explaining all the dangers of sucking antivirus that you don't know about and you don't even understand that it's antivirus that really protect you from anything serious. It does not. Again, stuff that I will teach you that you don't know about. I don't give you common knowledge. I d Hello from Kazakhstan. I don't give you common knowledge. Oh, that's good, Kibler. Hope you, I hope that uh, she made lots of money. Okay, <clears throat> so so the stuff that I talk about is not common knowledge. It's going to be valuable for your protection. It's going to help you, and yet uh, it's it's not stuff you're going to hear uh, or understand because that some of the sources some of the sources from the uh, inter uh, internet about some of the information that you hear is not true. Not true. Here, I'll give you another question. I'll give you another question. Okay, <clears throat> I actually read on the USA Today about how Alexa Echo works. And they said, oh, Alexa Echo, you know, the way it works is uh, the machine, the Alexa device doesn't wake up until you give it the wake up word. Then, then it sends the command over to to Amazon and then it takes the command executes it and that's it and they don't store your uh, voice and uh, so therefore Amazon Amazon is uh, Amazon is safe uh, so what do you think about that and I would like reading through the the uh, the uh, you know I was reading through the article from uh, from from uh, USA Today, and I said, sucked up. Sucked up. It's true, Kibler? Sucked up. Okay. They, 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 they have never heard of the term cloud-based wake-up, which is in the documentation of Zucking Amazon, cloud-based wake-up. Okay, <clears throat> now, I'm not going to explain further, but I, obviously USA Today is wrong because it's cloud-based wake-up. Okay, so you're saying, what the fuck does that mean, cloud-based wake-up? That's for something that you learn later on. I will give you all that information if you subscribe to me on YouTube. Rob Braxman, Kibler, I know your your uh, sister is a number four prostitute in Kazakhstan. Still, prescribe, subscribe to me on uh, on uh, YouTube so you fucking learn about cybersecurity and safety so that your sister doesn't get hacked in Kazakhstan by fucking Russians. Okay, so please subscribe to me. I am chock full of information, people, and you will not learn this information if you don't subscribe to me because I'm going to make many, many new videos. I already showed you my new fancy vlogging camera. My new vlogging camera, my selfie video camera that I can, you know, do uh, videos in 4K and go talk to it and, you know, say, Zuck you, mother suckers. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, using this and teaching you about uh, about some of the topics that are, we talked about, and and some of the answers some of the answers are not uh, not that obvious, and 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 for, unfortunately, uh, no one really teaches you this stuff. I'm very very unusual on the internet, and this is why I'm unusual on the internet, people, because I am not. Um, um, like Lee Laporte and Steve Gibson, they're uh, what's the term? They they sold out. <coughs> Lee Laporte and Steve Gibson will not say anything negative about Facebook and Google because it affects their advertising dollars. So I'm not uh, doing this for advertising dollars. So 
so I'm just going to tell you the truth. And the truth is uh, sometimes, you know, not something that people want to hear. Uh, sponsors. Sponsors don't want to hear the truth. So, but you need to hear the truth. So you have to be the one supporting me, not these sponsors. Uh, I need the average Joe to listen to what I talk about, and, and uh, you will learn from what I talk about. There's so much information. So please follow me on YouTube, Rob Braxman. I'm at 276 uh, subscribers, and let's get to 300 during this scope. Please, people. <clears throat> I got to get to, uh, to uh, you know, en enough here so that uh, YouTube pays attention to me. I'm, like, starting from nothing here on YouTube, and I've gotten to 200 and. 76 and let's get to 200 we are 277 and let's get to uh let's get to uh 200 to 300 how do you not how do you not get surveilled aha so many things you got to do so many things you got to do uh that requires a whole a whole philosophy uh, and an approach and and uh, in in some cases you do want to get surveilled okay uh in some cases you do want to get surveilled uh it's called disinformation it's not all about hiding everything you you probably want to show something and then you hide certain things so you know uh, maybe you make uh, you you uh, cer certain parts of your life you make it visible to some parties and then certain parts of your life, you make it invisible. For example, if you're a doctor, you know, you, you ought to be showing lots of doctor things happening in your life. But wouldn't it be nice if you understood that you should have non-doctor related things disappear from the fucking internet? Isn't that an important goal? So if you're a accountant, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, anyone with a, who is a public figure and is known by the real name on on in the world uh you need to be able to di to distinct thank you 278 this allows you need to distinguish yourself from the average uh uh what am i saying i forgot <clears throat> you, you you need to to break up the information they get for you as a public persona versus private and so i teach you things like how not to use your real name in social media and so on and it's that's it's, that's a little bit more complicated than you're saying that there's certain things you got to do because if you don't take the proper precautions let's say that i'll give you an example of kind of a kind of a example of a something that people do and, and they they really don't don't get the effect of this they said i'm going to go to facebook i'm going to go to facebook and i heard from this rob guy that i shouldn't be using my real name so i'm going to go to facebook and my name was uh my name was uh angelo angelo smith and i'm gonna go uh uh change that now to angel joe angel joe that's my new name is that a good idea is that a, a good idea to go to facebook change your name from uh angelo smith to angel joe okay in in honor of angel here is that a good idea at many levels, that is completely wrong. That's an example of somebody who doesn't understand the technology and how to solve that and how to hide yourself on the Internet. That's actually quite a wrong answer. That's a very, very wrong answer. And if you don't take the proper precautions, you're just going to make it wor worse. Because now you're going to be known as Angel's, as, as uh, uh, Angelo uh, Smith and Angel Joe and you're going to be known over the internet with those two names and you just made it worse so now you got two identities that are merged because you didn't think it out you didn't plan it out goes to show that the information is not something that I can just give you give you like a quickie and you're done it doesn't work like that there's a lot you got to learn here and one of the ways that you're going to learn it is from I'm going to make a lot of YouTube videos that from a collection of time if you, you, the, it'll be a lot quicker than what I do here in Periscope because it'll be like more like snippets. So let's say I give you, you know, uh, uh, two, three videos a week and then you watch the snippet and you'll learn a little bit and by the time you get to a year of this you'll be like, like wow, I'm a sucking expert. And besides, it's easy to share and, you know, it's easy to... Uh, <clears throat> and then you'll be a lot safer. And then you'll say, oh, uh, how do I not get surveilled? Or do, uh, 
is that even important to not get surveilled? Yes, quite important. Quite important. The problem is surveillance is not surveillance is not some uh, some uh, uh, discrete point. I mean, it's 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 a it's a combination of of uh, levels. Uh, surveillance could be active, could be passive. <clears throat> what do we do with active surveillance? Uh, what do we do with passive surveillance, which is better known as mass surveillance? What do we do about that? And, uh, and what do we do with active surveillance? Could you even do anything against active surveillance? Aluminum cap and mask. Ah, oh, can't see me now. There you go. <clears throat> Show me your aluminum cap and mask. Where are tin hats? No, you don't need to wear your tin hats. You need to learn how to protect yourself. It's your data that needs to protect it, be protected, not your zucking head. <laughs> yeah, who does Zuck care about if you wear a tinfoil hat or not? <clears throat> I am not a tinfoil hat person. Anything I talk to you about is factual based on my experience in tech. I've been programming for a very, very long time at the highest levels. It's not about that you do doing something. It's about freedom. Yes, I want to protect my brain from 5G and voice of God tech from military. Yes, yes, ghost. If you want to learn how to do that, follow me on sucking YouTube or you will get zucked. Do you want to get zucked, ghost? <clears throat> if you don't want to get zucked, follow me on YouTube. Rob Braxman. Follow me on YouTube, Rob Brackman. If you do that, you will not get sucked because I have so much information to pass to you and there's still so much to zucking learn and you will enjoy what I'm going to do and, and let's put this, this fancy new camera to use. Whoa! This uh, selfie video camera. This selfie video camera. I didn't say that 5G itself was dangerous. Some people are saying that the... Uh, the uh, uh, the waves will be dangerous because they're planning on they're planning on putting satellites uh you know and you'll be uh microwaving the signal to uh to thousands and thousands and thousands of satellites and that's how they're going to do 5g that's what somebody said <clears throat> is that true or not i don't know some of that may be tinfoil hat okay some of that may be tinfoil hat so I don't react to that part of it. <clears throat> I don't react to that part of it. Okay. So so uh, so whether or not that's true, uh, we'll leave it for later to determine. But I I uh, that is not something that I can judge at this moment because I don't even know what five G means. <laughs> Futurama. <laughs> there are many ways they're already doing this, and they don't, they don't need to direct ads to your brain. They're already doing it subliminally just on your being on the internet okay you're already experiencing it today in in other ways that doesn't require any tinfoil hat we don't need any tinfoil hat explanations there it's already happening today but please people it takes me like uh, hours to get even a you know 10 subscribers here on on uh, from youtube so <clears throat> So I'm, I'm, I'm basically telling you the kind of information you will learn from me. And you can see it's really, really valuable. If you follow me on YouTube, you can f find out what these videos. Obviously, I'm also expected to, it, you will also benefit from following me on, on Periscope. But my Periscope approach will be different than what I do on YouTube. So if you're following me on, on Periscope, yes, you will, you, will, uh, you will have a more detailed discussion about one item rather than the kind of uh you know quick mass of learning that you will learn from what i post on youtube starting starting next week so i'm going to be doing a lot of that so in order for you to benefit you uh should follow me on youtube follow me on youtube rob braxman is my my name on youtube and at the moment i am at 280 subscribers extremely far from 1,000 and I have 32,000 followers on Periscope I have 7,000 followers on Twitter and I got a measly 
<laughs> like Johnny Five, uh, uh, you love it loves input. Uh, I got a measly two hundred eighty followers on on YouTube. It's sucking embarrassing. Okay, sucking sucking embarrassing. No, it's just embarrassing. Uh, bragging is uh, bragging is uh, embarrassing. You can see how many followers I have here. It's embarrassing that no one goes to YouTube and f subscribes to me there. <laughs> embarrassing, yes. <clears throat> uh, uh, am I bragging about being uh, having it be embarrassing? That's uh, I don't know why that would be uh, that would be uh, bragging. It's, I'm I'm known here on YouTube. I mean. Uh, I'm I'm here on uh, Periscope for years. So, you know, obviously I have a lot of followers here. That's not a big secret. Got to start somewhere. Uh, FB, YouTube, and Snapchat dying? Yeah, I don't think YouTube is dying. YouTube is maybe Periscope. Dying. John Chin. Oh my gosh! Now I gotta look uh, play piano now. John Chin is here. You should all follow John Chin if you like jazz. My goodness, John Chin is an awesome player. Awesome player. He learned from Kenny Barron. <clears throat> Whoa! Yeah, uh, John Chin learned from Kenny Barron. Look at uh, my sucking piano here, John. I mean, it's my piano. I have to hide my piano because you know I gotta go uh, put sucking squash on here to get to get viewers. That's all you need, John. When you're playing jazz, stick some squash in there, and you know you'll get the viewers because John is so skilled in jazz. And nobody's watching him. It's like terrible for somebody so skilled. Squash, yes. <clears throat> squash. That's not a butt. That's squash. That's not a butt. That's that's a squash. Nothing nothing illegal about squash. Look like butts twerking, but it's yes, it is sucking squash, and it works. And I don't know why people can't. Some people have come here to my scope many times seeing the squash, and yet they can't resist but click on it. I don't know why. I don't know why. So people, follow me on sucking YouTube or you will get sucked. Do you want to get sucked? <laughs> Do you want to get sucked, XO, XO ghost? If you don't want to get sucked, follow me on YouTube and you will learn. Yes, follow me on YouTube. There's no clickbait on, on, uh, on YouTube. YouTube has to be... Uh, if you don't want to get sucked, follow me on YouTube and you will learn. I will teach you stuff that you will, you will uh, enjoy. For example... For example, do you know what it's like to get doxxed? Your privacy doesn't matter. So do you, do you want to get doxxed, uh, uh, ghost? You want to get doxxed? Do you even know what doxing is? Do you already know that your your personal data is already is already out there? Oh yes, quoting Zuck. Yes. <coughs> uh, who hasn't been fooled by the vanity of uh, of Facebook? Are you saying that you are you were immune kelp? Yes. Do you want to get docs? Yes. Google. Uh, uh, no, you don't have to use Google. No, no. You got to learn, ghost. No, no. The best way to dock somebody is on sucking Zuckbook. Zucking Zuckbook. Number one tool for doxing. So I know they they pimped out my info already. What happens when you get doxxed? When you get doxxed, somebody will reveal your information on the internet. For example, Shaf, Shaf one 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 one. Okay, how would you like to be to to have all of your internet activity as Shaf one 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 associated with your real name, and you happen to be a doctor or lawyer or somebody public? Okay, and they say, oh, so Shaf is actually Doctor Shafar. And these are all of his activities on the Zucking Internet and all the porn sites he visits. Would you like that? That's getting doxxed. Okay. Would you like that? This is why you don't want to get doxxed. And this is why, you know, it's important to, to learn how to protect yourself from such things and what techniques you want to use to protect yourself from that. That's what you will learn from me. That can get me fired. Exactly. That's what you will learn from me. And if you want to learn that, you will learn it by subscribing.